Hello beautiful people from the internet, it is Connie over here and today I am going to be talking about nicotine sickness because that is something that has been happening to me a lot and I didn't really realize why until I started to try to really think about why, you know, and then I kind of realized and today I'm coming at you with my realizations, I think. So yeah, if my face is super red, it's because today I just went ham with a blush. I just love blush, you know, so that's why. But yeah, I'm going to be lighting my camel yellow, which I still have some of. I still have some camel yellows. Also, oh my God, I don't know if I should tell you this because it's going to be a whole video, but I actually ordered a, a, like a cigarette case to store my cigarettes instead of keeping them in open packs and they go stale in like three days. So I'm gonna have an actual cigarette like case. Mwah, perfect, I don't know why I didn't do this before, but yeah, it's coming, it was super cheap. It was like $7, I think, and I expect it to be good quality. So I, that's why I'm saying it's super cheap. It's because I, ex I expected it to last. I expect it to last. Anyway, let's light this up and start talking about the actual topic of the video because we all know I ramble too much. Let's go. I'm gonna light with a match, by the way. Girl, lighting cigarettes with matches has been just my current obsession because I don't know even cigarillo with match is so good but anyway the point of today's video is nicotine sickness I have been struggling a lot struggling a lot like I've been having some minor problems with nicotine sickness and I've been having it like basically every time that I smoke and I didn't really realize why and honestly ever since I started smoking like one and a half years ago I think that was I've always kind of had a lot of episodes of nicotine sickness, which, which I used to call nicotine poisoning. And then I realized that it's not nicotine poisoning because when you have nicotine poisoning, you go to the hospital, you know, so they can like clean you up basically, like put fluids in you so that, I don't know, I don't know the process. I just know that you have to go to the hospital. So I stopped calling it nicotine poisoning and I started calling it by its name, which is nicotine sickness. And the things that I feel are basically when I smoke, I'm all right, like it's tasting really good, it's giving me a good buzz. But when I start feeling a little bit of a too strong buzz, I'm like, oh, interesting. This doesn't usually happen, like it's a strong buzz I usually get. But when I get that super strong buzz, I'm like, mm, something is off, you know. So the first thing that I feel is kind of the, the really strong buzz. But I'm okay at this point, like it's all good. I'm feeling a really strong buzz. I'm like kind of chilling, whatever. Then I usually be like bye guys whatever I close the video or if I'm not recording I I go home you know stop smoking I lay on a bed for a second and I start feeling so nauseous I'm like super nauseous my head is spinning and I'm like not again but now I have some techniques on how to stop it which I'm going to tell you about later but let's just continue on with the symptoms then because I have, I have like kind of a problem with losing control inside my brain. So when I start feeling my head kind of spinning and me being really nauseous, I start getting really anxious because I am not in control of these feelings, right? So then I'm extremely anxious. So I'm like, wow, okay, I have nicotine sickness. And this has been happening like once every two days, which is not good. Like it used to happen less before and I'm not smoking more than before. I'm smoking the exact same, which is why I didn't understand why this was happening, but I, I did, so hang on. So why is this happening, you might ask? Well, as you know, or maybe you don't know, but <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you, I have some stomach issues, right? which sometimes cause me to not have appetite just because I know I'm gonna eat and my stomach is gonna hurt a lot after. So I just am like, I don't wanna eat because I'm gonna be in pain, you know? So sometimes I, woke up, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna skip breakfast just because I don't wanna be in pain right now. And then I come and I smoke or I record, you know? Anyway, I just zoned out. Um, but yeah, I smoke, I record or I smoke alone and I didn't eat before I smoke right in the morning, you know, and then I get nicotine sickness and I started realizing this pattern and I was like, wow, I'm getting nicotine sickness because I'm not eating and like you're not supposed to smoke any kind of substance without eating before because you need to have a little bit of something in your body so that your nicotine isn't the only thing in your bloodstream, you know. And I didn't really understand that until I started reading some articles on the internet 
that said that cigarettes are appetite suppressors because they release a lot of glucose into your bloodstream and that's why you usually don't feel like eating a lot when you are a smoker because the amount of glucose that gets into your bloodstream when you smoke is a lot faster entering than if you would actually eat. So that's why a lot of smokers uh, are like skinnier people or don't eat as much as maybe a non-smoker does and that's why when you try to quit smoking a lot of people actually gain weight because they try to replace the glucose that they had with the cigarette that they didn't realize they had with a lot of sweets. For example, my dad, when he uh, quit smoking, he was eating a lot of sweets and I was like happy because I was a child so there was a lot of sweets at home but I didn't realize why he was replacing cigarettes with candy, you know, but that's usually what a lot of people do, you know. So that was step one for me to realize what is happening, why am I getting so nicotine sick all the time. But as I was saying, I have some strategies now, all right? Um, sometimes even if I eat, I will get nicotine sick just because I have very low tolerance for substances, any substance like alcohol, cigarette, herb. I've never tried anything else, but I, I just have low tolerance in general, which I don't think it's a bad thing because you need less substance to feel the same thing that maybe other people with a bigger tolerance need, you know? But yeah, sometimes even if I eat, I get nicotine sickness and that is fine. It, it happens, you know, but it's not as much if I don't eat, obviously. So now, every time I'm going to smoke, I eat first, always. I feel like this is common sense, but I, it just took me a while to get there, all right? It took me a while. I don't know. I always eat first, and then if I still get nicotine sick, some things that help me are... I actually read this on Reddit, all right? Um, and I tried it myself. I read on Reddit that if you have a spoonful of honey and you just eat it, you feel better almost instantly. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's cap. That's BS, that doesn't happen. And the other day I got nicotine sick, like two days ago or three days ago. And I went home and I was like, well, I got nothing to lose. Give me the honey, you know? I put a spoonful of honey in my mouth. I felt better like 10 seconds after. And I was like, damn, Reddit sometimes really is useful. You know, it really is. Um, but also catching some fresh air, just being outside and like feeling the breeze in my face helps. Or if I cannot be outside, for example, if it's raining, when I'm at home and I'm feeling nicotine sick, I will take a cold shower. Now, cold showers usually are not very pleasant. I mean, some people like them. I'm not one of those people, unfortunately, but when I'm feeling nicotine sick, they are heaven because my whole body goes into shock with the cold and kind of forgets about the feelings that I was feeling with the nicotine sickness. So cold shower, spoonful of honey, or if you don't have honey, any candy, like chocolate, something very uh, full on sugar. Is that an expression? Full on sugar? Something with a lot of sugar in it will help you, probably, most likely. So do that. And also drink a lot of water because sometimes you might just be dehydrated and drinking water also helps. Mas, but yeah, I was about to say mush. Mush is a Portuguese word for but in a way of saying like but in a sentence, you know, not like a booty. Um, anyway, but yeah, that's what I found that helped me with nicotine sickness and I'm going to continue doing that, but I'm also going to start eating every time before I smoke a cigarette or else I know what I'm gonna get, you know, and it's not a good experience at all. And I actually talked about in my Instagram about this, like yesterday, I think, And a lot of people actually were like, because I, I made like a post being like, if you're feeling nicotine sick, have a, a spoonful of honey. Because as soon as I realized this worked, I wanted to share with people, you know, in case someone else was feeling bad. And a lot of people were like, what? How do you feel nicotine sick with only one cigarette a day? And I'm like, bro, because I'm dumb and I don't eat before I smoke. But now I've realized that's a thing and I will always. And I just ate and I will always eat. But yeah, that was something that I didn't realize. I don't know why, man. Sometimes it takes me a long to get a long time to get like these realizations going, but it's kind of annoying because it's things that are so simple. And if I just paid attention to my body and realized what was lacking and like the pattern that was going on, I would have realized a lot sooner. But yeah, this past like month, every time I smoked, basically I would get nicotine sick because I was just not eating before I smoked because I was like, I don't want to eat breakfast because I'm going to be in pain. But you know what? I'd rather have stomach pain than being nicotine sick. It's a very bad experience. But yeah, I hope that was helpful in some way. 
and I hope to see you all very soon. Also, this lighting is kind of weird. It's constantly changing. Look at that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be here very soon. Bye!